you know most of the times people ask me this question as to megna how to live a productive life so in this video i will be talking exclusively about three things that will make you more productive than ever but before we dive into the topic if you are new to my channel and you haven't yet subscribed please go ahead and subscribe the channel also press the bell icon down there so that you will be notified with all my latest videos coming up Hello champs I hope you all are doing well so let's dive into today's topic that is three things that will make you more productive than ever first eliminate everything that distracts you you know will power is overrated if something really distracts you just eliminate it you know one of my friend she has news addiction and i suggested to her to just get rid of her television just delete the news apps or block the news sites on your laptop and you know what happened 2 weeks later she told me that she has finally started to take life decisions she has found a path and she has come out of that negative state and she is operating from a positive perspective okay so one bottom line that i want to tell to each one of you is that don't think that you are immune to your distractions just remove them so the first most important thing that you need to do in order to live a productive life is eliminate everything that distracts you second thing that you need to remember is that stop consuming so much of information now i agree we live in a digital world where we have so many shiny objects available on social media but that doesn't mean that you have to consume every single thing that is available on social media platforms right now i have heard people telling me that in order to live a productive life you have to read like 5000 articles you need to read two to three books every single week friends i'm trying to make you understand over here that in order to live a productive life you don't need to read 5000 articles or read two to three books per week in order to live a productive life if you found the information useful just start applying the information you don't need to uh, find information just about one particular topic or 10 different strategies about just one topic if something works for you just go for it remember more is not always better stop consuming and start creating So the second thing that you need to remember in order to live a productive life is stop consuming so much of information. Remember, stop consuming, start creating. Third thing to remember in order to live a productive life is create routines. Decision fatigues your brain and routines eliminate decisions, which ultimately means that you have no brain power. Now I have heard so many people tell me that routines are OCDs. Friends, I'm here to correct you. Routines are not OCDs. They are efficient. So please use them. So the third thing to remember in order to live a productive life is start creating routines. Please remember routines are not OCDs. They are efficient. Please use them. Now I'm going to give you a bonus tip that I have been using in my life from past 18 months in order to live a productive life. So the bonus tip is take a 5 minute break every 30 to 45 minutes. Now what this really means is that if you are reading book or you're creating contents or you are constantly sitting in front of your laptop or whatever work that you have been doing, what you have to do is you have to take 5 minutes break. every 30 to 45 minutes you can do whatever you like you can go stretch your back just walk around drink some water but most importantly you have to just take your nose out of your work and what is going to happen when you come back after the 5 minutes is that you might have some new ideas you will be able to consume the information at a much faster pace than earlier you're going to have new ideas new thoughts better understanding So I call this technique as a refresh technique where you take break 5 minutes every 35 to 45 minutes. Make sure you apply this technique and please let me know in the comment sections if any one of you have tried pomodoro techniques or if any one of you have ever tried taking 5 minutes break for every 30 to 45 minutes. Please let me know in the comment sections below. So that's all I got for you for today. If you found this video helpful, please do not forget to like, share and also please comment below down there have you ever tried these techniques or if you have any other techniques please let me know in the comment section below i would love to know your thoughts until then bye bye take care and more powers to you